Hey now, hey now, it's Brady for Monkey Ed. Oh, oh, me too, me too. <laughs> Fucking guys are barbarians. I feel like I went with Cosby and, uh, and Weinstein all at the same time, but, but kind of pleasant actually. Which so, one am I? <laughs> better looking than Weinstein, uh, you know, sure. not as creepy. Okay. So hey, uh, what's up? It's Brady for Monkey Edge. We're here at uh, Blade Show 2018, Hot Lana, Human, and I'm uh, standing here with uh, I, I I went and like knocked on the cave, and uh, and got the hermit to come out. Uh, old man Winter shaved his beard and everything. I'm here with <laughs> here with Mick Strider. What's so, going on? So uh, hey man, hey man, uh, heard you were like out of business. Yeah, a lot of people heard that. <laughs> <laughs> but see, the thing is, they heard wrong. We just, so 25 years, Dwayne and I were partners, and eventually we were like, hey, this is a lot of work. So we decided to just be knife makers again. So we basically dissolved Strider Knives as a company, the, the corporation, we dissolved the corporation. He went his way, I went my way, and things are working out great. So what happened was I just, I kept all the intellectual property. So, I mean, it's my name, Strider Knives. It, they were mostly my designs. He kept his designs, I kept my designs. And we just turned into custom knife makers again, as opposed to having a big ass knife company, because neither of us are businessmen. We right, just want to make right. knives, you know what I mean? And it's living in California and trying to have a business in California. You mean it's hard there? <laughs> a little bit. The 25 years they tried to put us out of business. Eventually we said, <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I give, stop so, resisting. Yeah. So, yeah. We, so we shut down the corporation and uh, just basically restructured. I brought all the equipment to another area and we sort of just sort of changed the way that we're doing things to where we're not paying all the massive costs of having a corporation in California. Well, and there's not the same push to have to, to, to do as much, to exactly. keep this machine rolling. So in exactly. many ways, it's kind of like a... It's, it's a mini retirement. Yeah, yeah, like, a, a, like a, a step back, kind of like true to form, kind exactly. of like you're kind of going back to when it was fun, back exactly you know, like to the garage that's exactly days. exactly it. You we know? just came full circle. Yeah. We came full circle. We did 25 years, and people were like, oh, well, what if I want to get a knife? Well, goddamn, you had 25 years. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's <laughs> funny. We, <laughs> you know? we, hear, we hear that a lot. It's like, yeah, yeah. And, so, you know, we get that a lot because it's like, well, how do you have these knives that say Strider? I thought they were out of business. Like, well, no. SKI, Strider Knives Incorporated, has changed. You know, Mick's doing his thing, Dwayne's doing his thing. You know, but it was like, you know, uh, guys were like, are these fake? Dude, you know, it was, yeah, a, it yeah, was a panic attack. You know, yeah. It was an absolute yeah. panic attack. And because people were panicking, they couldn't listen to the words coming out of my damn mouth. Right. You know, so right. I explained this a thousand times. No, we're not. No, it's all good, man. We're making the same knives. We're actually making them better because it's, we've taken this thing that was sort of getting out of control and we've re-lassoed it and, and we're doing it in a cleaner, more efficient way. So yeah, the maybe product's like, coming well, out better. It's we don't have as broad a spectrum of product right now because it's we're retooling, we're re-spinning up, we're doing things. Kind of going better. more small batch, kind of even more exactly. boutique -y and exactly. you know kind of so like maybe maybe if I were to say like SKI was kind of like Ferrari, which is high end but still makes a fair amount of cars, now it's McLaren. Exactly. Right? You know, so exactly. now there's more Kind of more limited, but enabled to be more focused because there's not that big push to keep, you know, like, hey, we gotta gotta keep the lights turned, you know, exactly. lights on, and you know, exactly. healthcare and all the other shit yeah. from living well, yeah, in California. It, it you know? Yeah, there's so there's massive costs in California associated with owning a corporation. I mean, just yeah. workman's comp and all the things. We're not doing all of those things anymore because we've restructured the way that our product is manufactured. We're still in total control of the product, but we're not paying the massive costs involved with employees and all of those things. Instead, we're just producing awesome product. Right, right. You know, so it's running way smoother. It's running, the product is coming out so nice because I have time now to actually focus on, and so when you've got a, a company the size of Stripe, that Strider Knives was, and it wasn't in any way a huge company, but there was enough people involved to where no decision could ever be made. Yeah. I'd come up with an idea and it'd be like, well, you know, and we'd have five guys coming up, well, what if this and what if that? Now I just go like this, hey, here's what we're going to do. Yeah, and even getting guys that worked for you to getting the emotional buy-in. Yeah, kinda, you know, it was exactly. kind of yeah, like, nobody, oh, nobody yeah, listened to me. It's kind None of like, of my employees ever listen yeah, we'll, to get, me. we'll get right <laughs> up, you know, like uh, uh, veto by inaction kind of yeah, sometimes. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly yeah, right, correct. Right. And so now it's so dynamic that we can do, we can do projects faster, we can do projects better. All of our all of our product line is improving 
Um, yeah, like I, we had the recent Dub project, and that was literally like exactly. I mean, that would have. I mean, we've been dealing, been thrilled and honored to be, you know, a, a big Strider dealer for for years now, and nothing's ever happened as fast with Strider as that Dub project. Oh yeah, I mean, that exactly. was literally like you know. Josh and I kind of talking, and he's texting you, and stuff's going on. Really, now's when we need to do that, huh, Josh? I'm covering this up for people who come up to the field. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 but uh, so, you know, uh, yeah, like I said, that happened like almost. It seemed like instantaneous. Yeah, and normally, exactly. normally with a Strider project, it was kind of like, well, well, yeah, exactly. Like Haley's comment. But when it comes, it's cool. Yeah, but, you know. Right. We don't. So now we. It's, it's, it honestly feels really neat because we always have material on hand. We're always ready to start a project. All it takes now is the the spark, and we're on it. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like like the the dub project. Hey, let's do this. Boom. Okay, it's an awesome plan. Yeah. Let's jump on it. Done. So, exactly done. As opposed to taking 120 days on a project, we're doing them in 90 or 60. You know, yeah. we went quick on that thing, and it's it. We're real proud of that. Our our. You know what I'm really proud of is the fact that our our line is improving in quality every day. Every single knife we make is better than the one we made before, which is pretty impressive after 25 years. Yeah, it but really it, is. Yeah. I mean, I mean, and, I, and I've seen, I've noticed that some of the stuff from your custom stuff has started to to uh, start to appear in the in the what is exactly. the production line yeah. now. So like the, those improvements. Yeah, which, the, first the off pivot, was materials. You know, and first off was materials. Yeah, I made changes to the pivot. I've made changes to the way we actually assemble the knife because, you know, 25 years ago when I when I designed the SNG, I didn't have production in my head. I had, how do I make this? Okay, cool. That's you had a neat napkin out. and a... Yeah, yeah, exactly. So for 25 years, we assembled the knife where we had to flip it over three times to build the knife. Yeah. All because the screws came from different directions. Simple change, but it took 25 years. Right. Well, and sometimes it's, you can only have, I don't care who you are or how good you are, there's only so much of this, right? Exactly. You know, so much energy. And I've exactly. noticed, like, in the custom, in your custom stuff, too, you know, it's funny, you know, I don't talk a, a, a ton, but it's like I can almost kind of tell where your head's at by when the knives show up. Because it's, <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, Mick must be in a good mood. Because, like, shit, he's doing weird shit. Yeah, you know what I mean? He's absolutely. experimenting, yeah, you know, and, it, like. It freed up my mind to become creative again. Right, right. I've been, I've been stagnant for a while because I've been so focused. Because you've been Mr. HR. Exactly, yeah. 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 So, but now, everything's running perfectly. Josh is doing such a great job. I brought in my son into my custom shop, which is epic. And he is, he's propelling me forward because does he ever pull the old man I'll kick your ass thing yet? Or no? No. Yeah, Not we, on the we, knife making? We, we no. solved that a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> he, he knows dad's a monster. <laughs> because he's a monster too. My son is literally a younger version of me. We're the same person. Is that good? I'm, well, I'm growing him for parts. Good, good. In case yeah. you need a kidney or a exactly. liver, right? You know, exactly. Yeah. So, but he's epic in that. And see, I'm training him now to grind so that I, if his arms, I have to take his arm, it'll already know. Yeah, so you'll be able to... Exactly. There's no training involved. It already has the muscle memory. Boom. Right? Yeah, it's, you know, I'm glad you brought up your son because, uh, you know, a few weeks ago, you got to hold that there. I've got it. Yeah, you know, these knives, these bitchin' blade, you know, these, I got, I'm Mike, you got to just hold it for you. I'm Mick. You're, You're Mick? Mike? I thought yeah. you were Brady. <laughs> and these knives show up and they say F Strider. And I'm like, is Mick on a self-loathing kick or something? What's this <laughs> F Strider? You know, I'm like, do I got to call my homie and see if I need to intervene or something? Uh, turns out it's F Strider is for... Forrest, my son Forrest. Forrest, Forrest, come on in here. So, uh, Forrest, so yeah, this this is F Strider, Forrest Strider here. Do and I have to kiss you too? Well, you don't have to, but you know, airtime. Oh, <laughs> like father, like son. <laughs> a, gentle, Bill Cosby? A, gen <laughs> yes. a gentle but firm touch. <laughs> so no, like these showed up and literally I was like, oh, these are fucking gangster. These are, these are sick. And then, you know, I see the F Strider and I was like, I did. I kind of thought for a second, and then I, I looked at the paperwork, and it said, you know, it said Forrest. And I said, Josh, I said, man, mixed kids grinded? And he said, yeah. And I'm like, dude, these are these are bitching, you know. And doing these lines, you know, with the upper, you know, with the upper swedge, getting this to be symmetrical on both sides and the swooping lines, it's like like father, like son, must be in the genes or something. I've got a good teacher. I've been yeah, watching him a long so, time. So is your uh, your intentions to be kind of following the old man's footsteps, kind of be knife maker extraordinaire? <laughs> I don't know about extraordinaire, but knife maker for sure. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, they've been, you know, we, we got a small, you know, I think the first batch of these that you did, I don't know, four or five or something went out and guys were stoked on them, you know, and it was, 
it was kind of amazing because this is a short process, right? This has only been how many months or how no, many? It's been about a year, yeah. Uh, like a, kind a, of a, two years you've been two working years, with me, yeah. so two, something like years. that. Yeah, I mean, doing this but grind see, is not is, an easy grind. Give me per that. So here's the thing, <laughs> is that? Oh, sorry. So here's the thing. I, I don't really have things like this near Put my in your mouth. mouth. Yeah. So he as much. So here's the thing, right? Everybody wants to grind. That's what everybody wants. But you know, Forrest, he's so. What's the word I'm looking for? He's so fucking useful, dude. This motherfucker can do anything. So all of these new textures that we're doing, that's him. Yeah. That's all oh. him. All the all the bronze on the knives, all the super cool textures, that's him. Cool. So he has to beg for time on the grind. He has to earn it. He has to earn you it. You gotta right? wax on, wax <laughs> off for wax a while, on, paint the off. fence. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But the funny thing is, is because so grinding is what we do. I mean, right. That's the strider thing, it's the grind, right? So he, he does everything in the shop on his own. Every single thing he does, all the textures, all that stuff, he invents it and brings it and shows it to me. And I'm like, holy shit, dude, that's so badass. Yes, we're doing yeah. that. But on the grinder, I'm like this. You fucking up? Oh, yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> it's a grind. Yeah. And that's, that's the strider thing, you know what I mean? And so the funny thing is, is I don't need to be because... Uh, yeah, like I said, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm no knife maker, but uh, I have I have a tempted to grind a couple knives in my you know fucking around. Yeah. the reason we're so good is because we're rocket surgeons rocket surgeons yeah <laughs> you know I, but i've sat you know and been at various guys shops and goofed yeah. off you know pick up a scrap piece, and it doesn't take me long to go like fuck no never want to do this like i don't have the patience i don't have the hands or something like this and especially when oh, you dude, talk you want a to grind, feel like a spaz you know? try to grind a knife yeah because it's you know especially where you're talking this you know a, a deep upper sweat yeah, like it's that one thing you to know make some dust it's another thing yeah to bring all your points together, you know, all your facets come together, everything's perfect. There's a lot to grinding knife that people don't understand. Yeah, and we see a lot of knife makers come through the shop, guys that we don't necessarily even care, you know, just friends and stuff, they, hey, what do you think of this? And it's various levels of quality, but seeing this in a year is, is pretty amazing. Absolutely, you know? I guess so, I should look at the camera. Yeah, we'll look at the camera. <laughs> the camera adds 50 pounds to me, I'm actually skinnier. Cool, but, let's uh, look yeah. like I weigh 35 pounds. So what's let me uh, I guess we should add two mics we're not that professional yeah don't stick it in so what was that what was that like you know was that a little bit uh intimate I mean obviously I don't you know you knew your, who your dad was in this world right you know kind of kind of revered you know rock star status and stuff what was that like kind of coming into the shop and was there the pressure of you know not just him being your old man but you know shoes to fill publicly and all that stuff or um I never really worried about any of that until grinding which was horrifying yeah yeah um but no, I love every second that we spend together in the shop. It's all nothing but pleasant. I get to spend all day playing with my dad. Man, oh man, I wish I could have once. <laughs> I gotta go. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. My dad was great. It was a joke. Dad, if he's watching on YouTube, it was a joke. Shit, I forgot what I was gonna say. Son, working with you. Pressure. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, shit. And... Oh! Oh! Me too! Me too! <laughs>